Hi guys, welcome back to I Speak English. My name's Hayley and today I'm going to show you five different apps that you can use to learn and improve your English. So we're going to take a look at apps to help your speaking, um, your vocabulary, grammar, reading and writing as well. So don't go anywhere. You're going to want to download all of these apps. They're really useful. None of them are sponsored. I actually use all of these apps apart from one um, to learn languages myself. Uh, I speak Italian, Spanish, Romanian. I'm currently studying Japanese. So I actually use most of these apps myself generally and I find them really useful for vocabulary, grammar and all the rest of it. But before I show you these apps, make sure that you subscribe and you hit the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. I upload videos every Saturday, so if you are subscribed, you'll be able to continue watching and learning English every week with me for free. So make sure you subscribe there and don't forget to give this video a like if you find it useful as well. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So your first app, number one, it's called Five Minute English. Um, this is an app to help you with speaking. As far as I know, there aren't any other apps that do this. Um, I've taken a look at quite a lot of speaking apps. Um, and this is the only one that really corrects grammar and vocabulary. Um, so there's a few where you can have a conversation with like an AI bot or something, but they don't really correct you. Um, this one's different. The idea behind it is that you choose your level and your goal, whether you're doing a Cambridge exam or uh, just studying generally, and then you get a list of topics and you can choose a topic and then it gives you a question. And the idea is that you spend up to five minutes answering that question. So you're talking kind of in detail, you're talking at length, and you're recording yourself while you're doing this. Once you've done your recording, the app will change your speech to text and correct everything you've said. So it's kind of like having uh, an English teacher basically in your phone to correct you. So it's a really great alternative if you can't afford uh, conversation lessons because they can be quite expensive, right? So if you can't afford conversation lessons, but you want your speech corrected, this is a really good alternative. It's also really good for uh, Cambridge exams and IELTS as well. So I'm actually going to test this out in front of you. I'm actually going to test this out in front of you right now. Um, so let's take a look. So I've already put my level and goal in. I just put B2 Cambridge. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to hit practice speaking and you'll see you've got a list of topics here. Um, I'm just going to go kind of part two. So for those of you who know the B2 Cambridge exam, you need to kind of compare and contrast photos. So you'll see at the bottom it says start recording. So I need to talk now. So I'm going to talk in incorrect English and then we'll see if it corrects what I've said. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so uh, in photo one, I sees a child's which has bad grade on paper and in photo two there is many people's in classroom man doing presentation. Alright so that was just an example. We'll hit get corrections and we'll see what happens here. Alright so it transcribes what you've said from speech and text. Okay, here's what I said. In photo one, I see a child which has bad grade on paper, and in photo two, there is many people's in classroom man doing presentation. So that's what I said. And then swipe for corrections, and you have grammar errors, vocabulary errors, vocabulary suggestions. It gives you a reason why you're wrong and the correction. So I said, I see a child. The correct version is, I see a child. Um, and that incorrect verb form when the subject is I, the verb is C, not C's. Okay, so you can see that I've got a big list of corrections here. So that's pretty decent. It's basically like having uh, a teacher in your pocket, really. All right, so I'll stop that there. All right, so that's just an example of how it works. Um, I think it's pretty good value, actually. So you, like I said, you get five minutes for free 
um, and it's anywhere from eight ninety nine to eleven ninety nine a month uh, in euros. Eight ninety nine if you pay annually, eleven ninety nine if you pay monthly. Um, I think that's a pretty good deal compared to you know twenty twenty five euros, thirty euros for one hour of an English lesson with a teacher. It's pretty good value, I would say. Okay, so that's our app for helping you with speaking. Right, on to number two. Our second app um, is going to help you with grammar. Okay, so it's called Close Master. This app is brilliant. I used this when I was learning Spanish, and it's really, really helpful. There is a free version um, where it gives you kind of limited exercises to complete. And then if you want to continue, obviously you have to pay. Um, it's about nine euros a month. Um, back when I was learning Spanish, I did pay for it because I thought that it was really useful and helpful. So the way it works is that it basically gives you close exercises, like fill in the gap exercises. Um, so it gives you um, like a sentence and you need to complete the sentence. So either you can do this multiple choice or you can do it with a word that you think is appropriate. Or you can also do it for verb conjugations as well. So it's really, really useful. Helps you learn a lot of new vocabulary, but it also helps you to see what context you use the vocabulary in. Again, I found this, this was probably one of the best apps I used when I was studying Spanish. It was fantastic. Um, as far as I'm aware, it is available on both uh, Google and Apple. And uh, like I said, it's about nine euros a month if you pay for it. The free version is quite extensive, I would say. From what I remember, you do get quite a lot of sentences to fill in, so it's really good. Um, also goes by levels as well, so you go kind of beginner, intermediate. Um, I think there's something like top 100 words, top 1,000 words. So it's fantastic for learning vocabulary, and it's really good for learning grammar as well. Um, so I'd 100% recommend this. All right, so that's for our grammar. Next up. Um, this is going to help with vocabulary. I've mentioned this app in quite a few of my videos. I use this all the time for my students, and I also use it for myself when I'm learning languages. Um, this app is called Quizlet. Um, it's completely free. Um, there is a paid version again, but to be honest, the free version, you get quite a lot with it, so you probably don't have to pay for it. Uh, I pay for it because I'm a teacher, so I get like extra things for teachers that help my students. Um, but if you're a student, I mean, the free version is enough, to be honest. It's really good. So basically how it works is um, you can just create flashcard sets. You can also use flashcard sets from the community as well. Um, you can search for my flashcard sets. I'll put a few links um, in the description box and you'll be able to use my flashcards as well for free. So yeah, really helpful for learning vocabulary. You can uh, test yourself. You can just go through the uh, flashcards anyway, and you can also, there's like a matching game on there as well. So you can kind of play a few different games to help you remember. Um, really good for spaced repetition to kind of get those words back into your brain. So uh, I think I mentioned in another video, you know, you can make kind of lists on ChatGPT and then just copy and paste the lists into Quizlet, and it takes like one minute to make a whole flashcard set. So it's a really good, useful tool. Uh, if you want that ChatGPT video, I'll put the link up here um, or in the description as well. You can take a look at that. So that's Quizlet. So, so far we've got five minute English for speaking. We've got Master for grammar and we've got Quizlet for vocabulary. Next up, number four, um, this app is called LingQ. Uh, fantastic app again I've used this myself learning um, Spanish and Japanese really great app um, this app does a lot of stuff so how it works um, so it's really good for reading first of all you can import your own uh, readings or your own texts or you can use community readings and texts um, and basically you can read and then every word you don't understand, you can click that word and it will come up with a dictionary definition and it will also give you a sentence in context. Every word that you don't know 
is called a ling queue. And ling queues equal money, kind of in within the app. Um, and then what you can do with your link queues, um, once you've learned the words, you get more money or more link queues. Um, and then you can buy stuff for a little character or avatar that you have. So you can like buy sunglasses or a hat. Uh, I think you can buy it like a house and stuff. So it's like you build your avatar uh, and your avatar home using words that you've learned. So it's a really good kind of gamification way to learn uh, vocabulary to help your reading skills uh, also helps with listening they also have audio tracks in there with subtitles as well you can also do writing on it as well I haven't I've never tried the writing part but I know that you can do writing um, and there are also teachers on there as well I think that you can kind of communicate with or chat with or something like that so it's yeah it's a great app again i would use this um i used to pay for this when i was uh, learning spanish because it was really helpful so you get a limited amount of link queues i think you get something like a hundred link queues uh don't quote me on that i'm not sure um so which equal a hundred words so every word that you tap that you don't know um is a link queue and once you hit a hundred then you have to pay for it uh, but I would say it's 100% worth it. I would I would pay for this app, no problem. Um, again, it's not sponsored. I've used this app to learn languages and I found it useful, so I'm passing it on to you. So Linky, really good, $9.99 a month if you pay annually. Um, if you, I don't know if there's an option to pay monthly, actually. I'm not sure, you'll have to check it out. The link's in the description anyway. All of these apps are in the description. All right, and number five, our final one. Uh, this is called Word Wall. Um, it's not an app, it's a website. I actually use this in my lessons. I use this every single day uh, for my students in my lessons. But I've also found uh, I started using it myself for Japanese as well. Basically, what you can do with it is you can make games from vocabulary. This is going to help you to learn vocabulary in different ways. So I use this a lot in my video courses and I also use it in my lessons as well, but I do use it to learn different languages as well. So you can play games like matching games, uh, hangman, um, like categories, you can do um, quizzes, multiple choice quizzes, image games, there's so many different games that you can play. Um, and again, all you have to do is copy and paste information, whatever words you're learning, copy and paste that into the templates and you've got a game in 30 seconds. It's really easy to use. Um, the free version, you only get four games included in the free version, but the paid version is only five euros a month. So it's not a lot um, and you get unlimited games. It's great. It's fantastic. So again, I would 100% recommend if you like playing games and if you like um, images and things, if lists don't help you for vocabulary, um, this is a really good website to use. I would use this if I were you for any language you want to learn, but you're here to learn English. So, All right, and that's it. They are your five apps to help you learn English. So you've got Five Minute English, Clothesmaster, Quizlet, Linku, and Wordwall. Okay. Definitely go and check those out, try them out, see what works for you. I hope you find at least one of them useful. I certainly do when I'm learning languages. Um, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. It helps it to get to more people so that they can get some tips and tricks for their English as well. And as always, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you can learn English with me every week. All right, that's all from me and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.